Hello, welcome back to the start of cooking. Today let's make paneer chili. This is a nice vegetarian dish for vegetarians. Here's your list of ingredients and here's your end result. So what I'm doing here is I've taken corn flour, so about two or three tablespoons of corn flour and plain flour and a bit of salt and I'm going to mix that in and add a bit of water to make it like a smooth kind of paste but a bit runny so you can coat all the paneer cubes in it so this is what it should look like not too much water and I've also with one tablespoon of corn flour added it to the paneer and just given it a mix this makes your paneer crispy on the outside so in a pan I'm adding oil heat up the oil so that it's nice and hot and then I'll coat every single paneer cube with the mixture and fry it. So this should give it a golden brown color on the outside. You can see this frying it. So you can see the color has changed and so you know it's fried. It's golden brown. So coat every all your paneer and fry it. Now in a wok I've you can use the same oil that you fried your paneer with. It's going into the same thing. So in here now you add your garlic. You can use more garlic if you like. It just gives it that nice flavor and give it a good fry. And then you add your onion, chilies. I've used red chilies, green chilies. Now I'm adding peppers. You can use whatever colors you like. I cut them into chunks, put them in, fry them. Give it a good mix. And then I've chopped two spring onions um, on the slant and put that in, give that a fry. And now I've added two tablespoons of tomato ketchup, a bit of salt, and then I've added a bit of chili sauce. You can use red chili sauce or green chili sauce, whatever you like and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Give that a good mix. Let it all combine together. You can see the vibrant colors in there. Red would give it a better color. And here I've added one tablespoon of corn flour and mix it with water. Put it in your wok. Now I've added the fried paneer to it. It's a bit stuck, so separated them. And once it's all in there, you give all that a mix so that it's coated with all the sauce. Now this is dry paneer. If you need to make it the wet one with the gravy, you can add a bit more corn flour, a bit more sauce to make it wet. And this is what your paneer should look like. You fry it for a few minutes and it's ready. Enjoy.